Welcome to the Solar Energy Channel, where you'll get an honest inside look at all things solar. In this video, we're going to talk about different battery storage options, what they cost, and what you can expect from them. I'm Warren. And I'm Larry. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you'll receive notifications for future videos just like this. You know, Larry, most people think when they buy solar that they automatically they want to have battery as a storage option in case the power goes down. Does that always make sense? Not in every situation. Uh, I think another common misconception is that it's going to be really cheap to add a battery system. And the reality is there's three kind of main options to look at when looking at, at battery systems. Sure. So if I'm just looking to run my refrigerator and maybe some lights when the power goes out for a couple of days, what am I looking at? You're looking at a basic small battery system, one battery, uh, one, inver one extra inverter on the wall, and you're looking at a cost of somewhere in the upper teens, so maybe 17, 18,000, okay. somewhere in that range. And contrast that if I wanted to maybe run some more than just a refrigerator for may maybe as long as five or six days, what would I be looking for? For that system, I would call that more of a middle of the road system. There you're looking at multiple batteries, maybe four, five, six batteries. And you're looking at costs ranging probably from 50 to 80,000, some, somewhere in that range for a larger backup system. And that does not include the solar itself. It's correct. just for the battery. That's correct. And then ultimately the, the all in uh, deal, if I just wanted to know that I could run everything in my home, including my AC or my heat, my air handler, uh, and running for days on end, what would I be looking for? So there you're looking at more of the whole home backup, like really robust, uh, really good solid equipment that can handle surge loads. And there you're talking about maybe 10 to 12 batteries, somewhere in that range and multiple battery inverters. For that system, you're looking probably $150,000 plus. Okay, so $150,000 or more. And I assume that these batteries take up quite a bit of space when you're getting to that size system. They do, they take up a lot of space. You'll wanna have a, a nice space in a conditioned area, maybe in a basement or something like that where they stay dry and stay fairly temperate as well. Yeah, great. So Larry, is there an advantage to installing this uh, batteries when you install solar or could you do it later? Could you do it later? It's always better to install it right away if you can, if you can swing the extra cost, because then we can do it all as one integrated system, one permit, one drawing package, et cetera. However, most of these systems can be added on at a later time. So if you don't want to do it now or don't have uh, the money to do it now, you can do that later as well. Correct. And another advantage to doing it now is you get to take advantage of the tax credit at 26% on the solar as well as the batteries. Correct. And so that may or may not be available to you in the future. That's right. Yeah. So in summary, if you're looking uh, for a battery option as storage, there's really three different options for you, but it depends on your objectives. If you're looking just to cut, run a refrigerator and a few lights, you might be able to enter into a basic system that'll cost about 16 to $20,000. If you're looking for a little more than that, you're probably in the 60 to $80,000 range. And if you're looking for a whole home backup, you're probably north of 150,000 for that. And you'll need quite a bit of space to store those batteries. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for future releases.